So this morning, we woke up in a world where the Tennessee Volunteers were the number one team in the country. And what's even cooler is that this weekend, they traveled down to Athens to play the number three team in the college football playoff rankings, Georgia. Part of me thought there was a chance Tennessee was going to be number one, and I should have bet money on it because they obviously have the best resume. They're the most battle-tested team, and also they're like the highest scoring team. But the college football playoff playoff rankings are out and to be honest it's the only poll that really matters at this point i've been seeing a lot of controversial takes on the college football playoff rankings but to be honest i think they got it right i would flip maybe two teams i would flip maybe clemson and michigan but michigan does have a weak out of conference schedule another thing i noticed was a lot of hate going towards lsu being ranked 10. me personally i wouldn't put them behind 13th though and they get to host alabama at night on saturday Saturday. And I think in recent weeks, Brian Kelly has got his team gaining a lot of momentum, especially after beating Ole Miss, who ranks right behind them at 11th. Some people want to switch TCU and Alabama. And I get it. TCU's undefeated. Alabama has one loss to Tennessee in Neyland. And this Bama team just doesn't look like a normal Bama team that we're used to watching every year. And with the worst record out of the top 25 teams at 5-3, and three, Texas ranks in at 24th. But a one-point loss to Alabama, a loss to Texas Tech in overtime, and a loss to Oklahoma State, who currently ranks 18th. I can see why the committee would vote them into the top 25, and I'm not just saying that as a Longhorn fan, but I think in the coming weeks, we are going to find out who those top four teams are and who will be facing off in the playoffs for the national championship.